Thank you for joining us today, and this is, will be part three of our teaching concerning uh, Yahuwah's righteousness and that he has imputed righteousness to those who will call upon him and put their faith and trust in him. And uh, I'm going to be reading from the book of Romans, and we're going to start reading at uh, uh, chapter 4, and uh, starting at verse 1. What shall we say then that Abraham our father as pertaining to the flesh has found? For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before Yahuwah. For what says the scripture? Abraham believed Yahuwah, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. Now, but to him that works not, but believes on him that justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Even as David also described the blessedness of the man unto whom Yahuwah imputes righteousness without works, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom Yahuwah will not impute sin. Hallelujah. Cometh this blessedness then upon the circumcision only, or upon the uncircumcision also? For we say that faith was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. Now we've been talking about the fact is that we are justified by faith in, in the word of Yahuwah, by believing the word of Yahuwah, and that it's not by works of righteousness which we have done, but it's according to his mercy that he saved us. It's important that, 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 that you and I have an understanding of the fact is that there's nothing that we can do in our own self-efforts or our own works that will cause us to be justified before Yahuwah. It's by our faith, just like Yahuwah uh, accounted Abraham righteous, not because of his works, but because of his faith. And that's what it says here in chapter 4. It says, Abraham believed Yahuwah, and that was accounted to him for righteousness. In other words, there was no action on Abraham's part as far as any good deeds that he did that caused him to be righteous. It was his faith in Yahuwah's word, and Yahuwah accounted that to him for righteousness. And this is this, this comparison that the, the apostle Paul or Shaul is making here in this in this chapter here, uh, describing that our righteousness is of Yahuwah in the same way that we put our faith in him and our trust in him. It says that this is something that uh, that Yahuwah has done, and we just simply believe that, trust that, that's what our faith is, that he has sent Yahusha as the, the, the sac sacrifice and as our Savior to pay the price for our sins. And if we would put our trust and our faith in him as our deliverer and acknowledge that, that that faith Will, that will that Yahuwah will count that as our uh, us as being righteous in the same manner that he accounted Abraham's faith as righteousness. It says in verse seven here it says, uh, "Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven, and whose sins are covered." Blessed is the man, verse eight. Blessed is the man unto whom Yahuwah, uh, blessed is the man unto, unto to whom Yahuwah will not impute sin. In other words, not, impute means to hold it to your account. Hallelujah. Now this doesn't mean that you can go out and sin and live like the devil and just do anything that you want and that you have no repercussions of that. That's not what it's talking about here. It's talking about the fact is that you in your own self-effort and your own works cannot please Yahuwah. It's not by works of righteousness which we do, but it's according to his mercy and his grace. And it's because of his favor that he's given to us. If we'll put our trust in him, we acknowledge by faith that, uh, see, and this is what this really does. This basically takes pride out of the whole equation because if you could approach Yahuwah in your own self-effort, you, you, you would say that, you, that he owed you this because of your, because of your own actions. In other words, you could, you could hold him uh, accountable for the fact that you uh, did certain things that, uh, in your eyes, you can you, that you think you're justified before Him, and sadly enough, there's a lot of people uh, today that have gone out into eternity thinking that way, thinking that 
their their good actions or the, the life they lived that was a good life. They never killed anybody. They never did any bad things that, that what they considered bad. But the truth of the matter, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahuwah. We all have this have had this this nature of Satan that's fallen that when Adam sinned and fell, that we inherited from our from him. I mentioned this on another teaching that uh, Yahusha, uh, he in the eighth chapter of the book of John, talking to the Yehudi Yehudi uh, Yahudim, he uh, told them he said, "You are of your father." the devil and the lust of him you will do. In other words, he's declaring that they were children of the devil because we all have inherited that nature. But it takes it takes the Ruach of the Holy Spirit, the Ruach of Yahuwah coming into us and changing our nature, changing who we were, and causing us to become sons of Yahuwah. Hallelujah. First John says, Beloved, now are we the sons of Yahuwah. Why? Because we have believed the report. We have believed the gospel that Yahushua came as, the, uh, as, as our salvation. And we acknowledge him as our Lord and our Savior. We confess him as our, uh, as, as we acknowledge that Yahushua is Yahuwah manifested in the flesh. And so because of our faith and our trust in that, then Yahuwah can count, can, can, uh, can impart his spirit to us and we're not only you know accounted as righteousness but we have become righteous in the in the realm of the spirit because we we have we have his spirit now dwelling on the inside of us hallelujah and that's that's the 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 amazing part of this is that we are now if you if you have been born from above born of his spirit born of, of his ruach you are now uh, a child of Yahuwah. And he looks on you as his child. And he looks on you as, as, as your, a part of your family. And Yahushua even called us brethren. He said, I'm not ashamed to call you brethren. Hallelujah. Why? Because we now have become part of the family of Yahuwah. In the book of Ephesians, it talks about, for this cause, I believe it's chapter 3, Paul shows saying, for this cause shall I bow my knees unto the Father of, of, of Yahushua Hamashiach, he says, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named after. In other words, we're all named after the Father. Hallelujah. We're part of the family of Yahuwah. Hallelujah. And uh, throughout eternity, we will be praising him and thanking him and glorifying him and, 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 and magnifying the works that he, that he has done in us and caused us to be born again, born of his spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we now can celebrate that fact. Um, so getting back to the, the aspect of the righteous, understanding that it's by faith that we justify it, and it's not by works that we do ourselves. It's simply believing the gospel, acknowledging with our mouth that we believe that Yahushua uh, uh, died for us, was raised by Yahuwah, and that we acknowledge him um, as, he, as Yahuwah. You know, he, this is the thing about it is, as I've already shared with you, it's important. That's why the name of Yahuwah is so important. Is because throughout the Tanakh, like I said, uh, Yahuwah declared that He was our Savior, our salvation, our only salvation. And then Yahusha, as as the Son, the only begotten of the Father, He came bearing His Father's name, and He said, "If you've seen Me, you've seen the Father." So we accept the the, the Savior Yahusha. We accept Him and recognize he, he is exactly who he said he was, then we are acknowledging the Father as well. Hallelujah. You're acknowledging Yahuwah when you acknowledge Yahusha. When you call on Yahusha, you're calling on Yahuwah because that's the same thing. They're, they're, they're one and the same. Hallelujah. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father, Yahusha said. Hallelujah. Well, thank you for joining us today, and we'll pick back up here in our next session. And uh, it's been a blessing to share this with you and hope you'll continue to watch because we've got a whole lot more to share. Thank you.